Hey, it's Mary. This is the Paper Turtle, and I've got a haul video for you today. But I am starting right here because this won't fit on my table. I just got this at an estate sale, and it's one of these little plastic carts with the drawers. And there was a sign on it that said, $7 must take contents. <laughs> so I looked in it to see if there were contents that I might like. And there's trims. There's this really pretty one right here. Um, there's, I don't know what this is. Oh, it looks like they were practicing maybe some, um, what do you call this? Embroidery stuff? Um, let me see what else is in here. I'm not used to um, filming like this with my phone in my hand, so I apologize if I'm a little bit wobbly. Well, uh, I don't know if there's too much in here, but I have to go through this. I have to clean the cart and go through it and see what treasures I might find in here. Uh, there's a piece of material. Oh. Several of these things. I guess they're maybe they were making posters. I don't know. Um, so there's not. I mean, not a whole lot in here. But I, I really bought it for the card. And um, let's see. And actually, I didn't even. I didn't even pay the seven dollars for it because there was there's some ribbons in here. There was whole bunch of, I think like four golf bags filled with golf clubs, balls, whatever other accessories. And my husband was debating getting those. And the guy said $50 for all the golf stuff. And this cart was seven. So the both of us were debating whether we wanted to buy this stuff. And then the, and then the guy comes back and he says, um, if you take all the golf stuff for 50 I will throw in the cart for free. So that kind of said, all right, we'll take it. So I actually got it for free, except somehow I ended up paying for his golf stuff. I think he owes me $50. <laughs> so there's not, I mean, there's not like a whole lot of contents in here, but the cart itself is worth well, free. <laughs> and I don't know. What is this? Is this anything? I don't know. Does anybody know what this is? There's a book in here. I can do this with one hand. <laughs> I can't do it with one hand. I don't know what's in here. There's an embroidery book. Oh, it's got patterns in it. Oh, there's stuff in there I can use. Let's see what's in this. I'm going to guess it's threads and stuff. Let's see. Nothing. Just books. I don't know what this is. Is this pins? What is that? I hate to put you down for a minute. I don't know how to get this out with <laughs> holding the phone. All right, this is this is awkward. All right, people, tell me what. The heck is this thing? They're like sharp little pins. It's kind of uh, kind of soft though. They're not real sharp. It's kind of soft. They're plastic. I'm guessing you put it on your finger. What do you do with that? Anybody know? I don't know. The box is all written in Chinese, Japanese. 
Let me know if you know what this is. I have no idea. Uh, there's some patterns it looks like in here. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. And this looks like it's mostly trash. Which is fine. I'll just go through it. Alright, so I'm going to clean that cart up and see what's in there. And I want to show you something else while well, I've got the phone in my hand before I um, set it up and move on to the other. So you're getting a quick sneak peek of my craft room here. Um, isn't it, isn't it a, a disaster area? Oh my God. Um, my mother, I, who I've told you many, many times, collects buttons. Well, she gave me, let me put it in the light here, this bag full of buttons. I mean, it's not full of buttons, but there's jars and bags and bags and like pill bottles all full of buttons that I have to go through. She bought them at um, as a as a lot at a flea market. And she picked through it to see what she wanted and she gave me the rest. Then what was it? What else was I going to show you? Oh, this, there's Heidi. This box right here, she gave me, she's cleaning out some of her stuff. And this was full of paper. It's eight and a half by 11 paper. Um, and I had my friend who was with me go through it. She's just now starting to do scrapbooking and card making. And I had her go through it and take what she wanted first because I don't need all that paper. Um, but I wanted the container. So I took the container and what was left of the paper. And my project that I was going to do today before I went to the estate sale is this. <laughs> this is um, well, obviously a basket of flowers. These flowers were all bought many years ago with the intention of taking the flowers off of the petals to use the flowers, right? So at the time, I decided I was going to store them like this and then just pull off the petals. As you can see, some of these branches don't have petals on them anymore. I was going to pull off the petals as I wanted them and it would be just a pretty display. I don't have room in here for pretty displays anymore, so the basket's got to go. Well, the basket is a really cute basket. I'm going to reuse the basket for something else, but all of these have to go. So my project was going to be pulling all the petals off of these and putting the petals with my flowers, getting rid of all these stems and stuff, and then I can use the basket for something else. But now I have to work on that other thing first. So then I'll get back to this. And um, yeah, that's it. So this is my my very messy room that I am struggling with organization. I have this Ikea cabinet over here that I've had for years. This was the original one. Now I think they call it Calyx. This was the Expedit. And um, it's, you know... It's chock full, chock full. And I mean, my whole room is just chock full. This is my bar that um, these sides right here, here and on the other side right there, they fold in and then these, the ends of these tops fold up. And I don't know if I can get a good shot of it, but on the top, <laughs> You can see there's inlaid marble and here's the hinges where this folds up and it's very, it's very cool. It's very nice. And the sides, let me see if I can get a shot of the side of it. The sides have this carving on it. Isn't that gorgeous? When I bought this, I thought, oh, this is going to be a really gorgeous piece for my craft room and um, I can close it up and not see, have to see everything all the time and it'll be real pretty now 
I can't close the doors because I've got too much crap piled up in there. And there really is wasted space on it. It's not serving its purpose anymore. So that's got to go. That thing's got to go and I've got to find some other solution. Maybe something, let me see if I can pan out a little bit, that right in this space here, I can put something taller, a ta another tall bookcase, and then something shorter over here. I want space to be able to put my big shot on top so that I can use it. Um, so anyway, I didn't really mean to give you a tour of my... <laughs> my messy craft room but I wanted to show you the buttons and the the paper thing that I got as part of the haul video so I'm going to um end this clip and then I will set my camera back up um when I've got I don't have here's my haul bag I put all my stuff that I get that needs to be put away but I put all my stuff that I get into this bag and when it's full then I do a haul video well I just did a a haul video the other day and so my bag's empty so I don't have stuff to actually do a video but I wanted to get that clip done because I want to clean out that cart so I'm going to end this clip now and then I'm going to add my next haul video to the back of this clip so the next time that you see me I'll do it'll be other haul stuff I'm rambling okay sorry I'm going to end it now <laughs> see ya okay so i just thought i would come back real quick and show you the results of cleaning out the um cart here i've got all the drawers cleaned out and this is what i ended up with um there is they she did like this embroidery stuff so she had like fusing and backing and and stuff like that so there's a little bit of that this one I kept, it's very thin and it's got these red polka dots on it. I just thought maybe I could use that for something. This I'll just cut up and use the scrap of fabric. There wasn't any other fabric. There's this um, vintage pants pocket. It's a whole package that hasn't been opened. I thought it was kind of cool, but I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it. There was another one that was open. And here's the pocket, which is kind of cool. I think that I can play with that a bit. This old iron-on patches thing, also um, the original packaging. I don't know. I, I have a thing for the original packaging on stuff, but I, I never know what I'm really going to do with it. So there's just these bits and pieces of, of fabrics. This is a silver... Um, almost canvassy but thin kind of stuff I'm, I don't know what I'll do with that but I figured I'd save that another scrap some tracing paper um, I'm not sure have you guys used tracing paper in your journals as something let me know if you've used this and what you did with it and these are just scraps um, there was this box called miracle stitcher but the object whatever this miracle stitcher is wasn't in there but there were these patterns so i don't know i just grabbed that i don't i'm not sure what i'll do with that um then there was a little bit of ribbon There were bits and pieces of trimmings. Um, there were a few of these little, you know, bows and uh, little applique things. A couple of those. Um, some of this little, the, this hem tape, bias tape, whatever this is. A couple of those. Uh, this one, and there was a whole bunch of these packages of piping. I have no idea what to do with piping. So if you've used piping in your journals, let me know what, how you, what you used it for, how you, what you did with it. 
Then there's some hem tape, and various things, a little bit of rickrack, um, some blanket binding, things like that, a few unopened packages, bits and pieces of piping. Again, I'm not really sure what to do with those. There was a bag that had some buckles. Those might be kind of fun. A little bit of um, embroidery thread. That's always useful. Some Velcro, but I think I'm gonna stick that in my sewing basket. Every once in a while, we're looking for Velcro for a project. Um, this bag of safety pins, those are useful. Some large grommets, I'm, I don't know what I would do with those. I'll keep them just in case. Some shower curtain rings that I'll get rid of. Plastic rings. I have others of these. They're in like every sewing kit that you buy at an estate sale. Um, and again, something I'm not, I, I'm not quite sure what to do with them. So if you have any suggestions for these, let me know. And then this little pile of, there's some like drapery lining in here. Um, and some Pellon backing stuff. I'm not even not showing you. <laughs> and so I don't know. I think I might throw that in a bag and donate that along with, you know, probably like the shower curtain rings and a few other things here. There were these plastic buckets. This one isn't, has not been opened. So probably keep that for something or other. Another one. Um, so that, that's it. That's what I got out of that along with the cart itself. So that was, that's a pretty good buy. Um, yeah, now I have to put it all away. Okay. And then we will carry on with more haul. Um, once I get this set back up and actually once I get more stuff to show you, um, for now, I'll just say goodbye. See ya. Okay. On to the rest of the video. I have these two giant rolls of this trim. Um, <laughs> I, I, th I think they might even be full rolls and it says on them 144 yards. These are old. The spools, they're the metal spools with the thick cardboard. They're very cool. I have no idea how I'm going to use this much trim. <laughs> this one I think is full because look at this, the beginning of it is missing the green part. So I'm thinking this is the actual beginning of the roll. And this one feels just as full. So I think there's probably about 144 yards of fabric of trim on here. But aren't they pretty? For a dollar each. That's a pretty good buy, I think. Um, so some of that will definitely go into Happy Mail. Then, let me see. <clears throat> I got this old farm lotto game. It looks like it's from the 70s. Do you remember? <laughs> those of you who are, are as old as I am, do you remember the fuzzy hair ties and the barrettes in the hair. <laughs> I love that. I just love this graphic. I mean, it's, it, it's so typical. I would say either late seventies or early eighties on this. There is a, a barcode. I looked for a date, but there's no date, but there is a barcode somewhere. Where did I see the barcode? Yeah, right there. So it's at least late seventies, early eighties. But inside are these awesome cards with these graphics. Um, there's a bunch of those. And then there's these individual ones. And I guess you're supposed to match them up with the, on the cards, kind of like a bingo. Oh, look, somebody's artwork. <laughs> Maybe that was a missing card and they drew it. Let's see if we can figure out what it was. Oh, look, 
It's the cherries. <laughs> That's funny. I love that. I would have done that. So these will be fun. I mean, these can be floral journals, a horse journal, a strawberry journal, gardening, um, farm, nature, animal, I don't know, botanical. I mean, so many. There's my turtle. So many different things that I can use these cards for. So that's kind of a fun find. I like it. I like the graphics on those. Then, oh, let me get this one out of my way. I picked up a photo box for a dollar. I don't know why I argued with myself. I told myself I didn't need it, but I picked it up anyway. <laughs> but then at the same estate sale, I got these um, Holly Hobby note cards. Um... Maybe they are not Holly Hobby licensed, but it's the same, you know, same era, same type of whatever. And I have, <laughs> I've always wanted a, um, a vintage apron. I don't know why. I just think that they're really cool. So I saw this apron there and it's one of those with, that goes around your neck. Let me see. She folded it very nicely. It goes around your neck and I think this might be handmade they did a very good job if it is but it's I don't know I just liked it I thought it was kind of cool looks like it might be from the 70s my husband laughed at me when I got it because <laughs> I don't cook I don't cook at all he does all the cooking so he's like what are you, you gonna just wear that around the house or <laughs> but I do a cookie bake every year at Christmas time and that's not a Christmas uh, apron I, I get that but I don't know I just wanted an apron so I got an apron <laughs> and I got this because of the colors I, ref I refrained restrained restrained myself <laughs> um there were three of these. The other two were smaller, but they were stained. I could have, you know, cut around the stains or whatever, but I controlled myself and I only bought one because in reality, I'm not going to use more than this many of these things. And that's even with sending some in Happy Mail. I'm just, what do I need that many for? I don't. They just take up space. So... I was very proud of myself for only buying one. We just won't talk about everything else that I have bought. You know what? I was thinking earlier today as I was getting ready to do this video. Sometimes I think that I go thrifting and I buy all this stuff just to do haul videos. And that's... I, can't, I shouldn't be doing that. That shouldn't be my reason for getting this stuff because... Um, that's kind of stupid. I always, I, I really, I do struggle and I struggle the most when I'm putting it out here and I see it all and when I'm trying to put it away, um, because I'm certainly not using all of this stuff that I'm buying and, and I know I'm not, and it's becoming mentally a problem. <laughs> So I don't know how to overcome that because I, I love the hunt of finding this stuff. I love getting it. Yes, I love doing the haul videos. And I like having it at my disposal if I do want to use it. So I don't I don't know how to resolve that issue in my mind of I don't really need all this stuff. And I'm never going to use all this stuff. So I, I don't know. I don't know what to do about it. And I've tried. Um, I have tried selling stuff on Etsy. And it, it would just sit there. And then I have this pile in my room of stuff that's listed and it's not moving. It's not going anywhere. So it, it's kind of a waste of my time to do that because it is very time consuming. So I don't know. Maybe I'll get back into that at some point and try to sell stuff. But uh, it's, it's very time consuming. Anyway, enough of my woes. 
back to my haul. This is um, some pretty stationery. I just liked it. And it was 50 cents. Same with this. It's, um, I like this kind of stuff to put into tuck spots. Um, it's, it's pretty and it's useful and I just, I like that kind of stuff. I picked up this again, it was 50 cents because it has these little notepads in here. And again, these are great to tuck into tuck spots. Um, they can be journaled on, they can be, you know, used as whatever, whatever somebody is using their journals for. These can be used in, in a number of ways. And then if I take these pads out. Yeah, they're glued in there, but that's okay. I, when I take the pads out, I have a journal. A cute little journal I can put some add some paper to it and it's already already cute got a closure and everything so uh, for 50 cents this is a multi-purpose thing I grabbed this book elements of technical science and it is dated 1945 and 1953 and I just, I bought it because it just has some really cool illustrations in it. The pages are aged. I really like that one. Look at how suited up he is. <laughs> oh, he is too. And I love that somebody wrote all the parts of the bicycle on there. Isn't that cool? Won't that make like a cool journaling card or something? I like that. And it has all kinds of different technical things in it. And there's a section in here on color, too. Where is that? It's very cool. Um, now I can't find it. Oh, here. Color. See, it talks about light coming through and what is it? Refraction? Is that what it's called? Yep, refraction. and Very cool illustrations. tables and charts and diagrams and I just thought it looked like a fun book I had to get some cards I haven't bought cards in a little while <laughs> no I thought these were pretty cool they've got ships on them the Mayflower and where's the other one Half Moon I guess that's the name of the ship. I thought those were really cool. Very vintage looking. And you can, you can, um, you know, decorate the back of them or you can just leave them as is and put them in a journal. I, I just, I had another um, double deck in my hand too that had flowers on it. And I said, no, Mary, you have a ton of cards with flowers. You don't need those. Get, get the ones that are different. Put the other ones back. I'm trying. <laughs> so this, well, this has some extra stickers in it. Um, okay, I don't know. They're not really my style, but my grandkids might like them. Well, these are to go like on a calendar. I might use those in a journal, I don't know. But this paper is really pretty. It's double-sided. It's not, it's not, super heavy and not super light it's a good weight I just thought it was really pretty and I think yeah it was a dollar that one's real pretty I'm always looking for double-sided paper for something or other I like that that's nice so anyway, I don't need paper, but, um, you know, you know the story. And this is my, one of my favorite, um, thrift stores. And they haven't had.
not a whole lot new lately, but every once in a while I find something now. This is kind of like burlapy jute type of stuff. It's just a small piece, so I thought that was not overkill for me to have, like not 144 yards of it. <laughs> and I'll, I can do something with that. I think that would make a really great belly band. And I picked up this. It's flannel. And it's got these little stars on it that reminded me of um, sheriff's badges, like the Old West sheriff's badges. And I thought that I could do that either in my... I haven't decided if I'm going to do like horse-themed or cowboy Old West-themed. But if I did, I thought this would be really cool if I had a little golden book that was about the Old West or about horses or cowboys, and this could go on the spine. I just, that's what I pictured when I picked this up. And then they had a whole bunch of rubber stamps, um, but their prices I thought were a little bit high on, on them. These were 75 cents each, which most places would charge a quarter. Um, yeah, I'm cheap like that, but <laughs> I just, I only picked up a few because I, again, it's something I don't need, but there was a, this really cute little porcupine, um, a ladybug, which I'm sure I have a ladybug stamp, but I got it anyway. A turtle, I had to have the turtle stamp. He's cute. And another bug. Now they had several different kinds of bugs. I'm guessing that they these were all in a set at one point. Uh, it's Hero Arts, 1996. So I'm guessing that these were part of a set at some point in time. But I, how many bugs do you need? I don't need a bunch of bugs. So I just got the ladybug and a beetle. But I thought that they were cute. And I've been using the little stamps. Like in the corner of a page or on a tuck spot or something. I think they're cute. Okay, what have we got here? Oh, these aren't for junk journals. <laughs> I'll show them to you anyway, but they're not for junk journals. They'd be a little bulky in a junk journal, I think. Let me get them off. I have um, a Christmas village that I set up at Christmas time every year. These were two for a dollar. So I just grabbed them a little street lamp, two little benches. I thought they'd be cute in my, my thing and a little couple. Um, I picked up these three and that, there really wasn't anything else that I wanted. So I just grabbed the, the little couple. <laughs> um, Okay, here, let me get this bag gone first. Some postcards. They were five for a dollar. So I picked out five of them. There was probably ten that I liked, but I didn't want to pay the extra money for having not having another five. <laughs> I know that's weird, but five is enough. I don't I don't need more than this. So another way of restraining myself. So I just thought that these were kind of cool. I'm not, does it say who the artist is? Yeah. So it has the, the name of the art piece on the back of them. They might all be the same artist. Yeah, these are all the same artist. I really liked that one for some reason. I don't know why. It's called Waiting on a Friend. I kind of liked it. This one was kind of cool, too. I think I like the, the diner concept. That's called 911. And she's on the phone. I wonder if something happened. You could tell a whole story from this picture. You really could. That's very cool. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Um, I have this trim and I thought it was just something a little bit different. It's just plain red trim. But again, I thought it was different because I just, I don't know, I don't have too much red. I don't use too much red. And I just grabbed this. I, I have like a ton of this kind of stuff, but the smaller pieces that I have, I'm actually running low on. Not super low, but I figure I'll keep it stocked. And I like the colors in this. I thought it was a little bit different. It has some bright colors in it. It's really pretty. So I found this. Let me open it up here. It's just a little dresser scarf thing, but I just thought it was kind of cool. I liked the... There's a... There's gold threads in it, so there's a bit of a shimmer to it. And I liked this part of it and then the border part. There's I think that I can use this in a couple different ways. And then I grabbed this bag of scraps. Um, they're quilt pieces. Some of them are they're sewn together. But I like the fabrics. In this, I think that thought that they were really pretty, um, very neutral. Oh, that's got bees on it. Um, let me see. That one's pretty. And I use little pieces like this. I mean, just even just a square would make a cute pocket on something. There's, I think there's a lot that I can do with these. There's all different, a few different fabrics in here. I do really like the colors, though. I like the one with the bees. Oh, that one's pretty. It's a little bigger piece. It's like a striped pattern. It's just a fuzzy. I always, I, I always kind of keep my eye out for little buggies and things, but I haven't run across any bugs in anything. Not yet. But you don't, you know, you don't know where these things came from to begin with. But most of the thrift stores that I go to, I think that they check everything. They're very clean. Um... And so I don't worry too much about it. There are a couple that I go to that are not quite as clean. And I do think they just take things in, in and put them out. Uh, those are the ones that I'm more leery of. But those are also the ones that I don't find as much at. So um, This one I just... They're, they're little dragonfly things. <laughs> Staples and tape. Let me do this. They're very cute. I thought those would be fun in a junk journal, right? There's, let's see, we got pink and orange and white. Kind of sharp on the back. I have to figure out how to flatten that a little bit. I'm pro I'm sh they're just wire, so I'm sure I can just squish it down. A little bit. I don't know if somebody made these. It almost looks like somebody made them. That one. The wing needs to be fixed. But they're cute. Aren't they cute? Yeah. Oops. Somebody's belly fell off. Those need a little bit of, a little bit of tender, loving care on those, I think. Some blue eyelet. I just thought the blue was a pretty color. 
See, 60 cents for that little piece. So I don't, I don't mind paying that. Then I saw this fabric. It's Cinderella. Um, and it is the, the licensed Disney fabric. And when I saw it, I, I'm not into Disney. I, I really don't care for Disney, the corporation. Um, but I do like Cinderella is my favorite Disney character, old school Cinderella. And, um, when I saw the fabric, I thought, you know, I'm sure that I have a little golden book, a Cinderella little golden book. So I thought that would make a great, <clears throat> a great fabric for the spine and a fabric flip and whatever else pockets, maybe. So an idea was born to do a Cinderella journal. I don't, I, I don't need more ideas because I've got a million ideas and I don't do any of them. Do you do that too? I, I just, there's so many things that I want to do. And instead, this is what I'm doing. Collecting stuff and not doing them. It, it's bad. But anyway, I thought this was pretty fabric. And it'll be good for a Cinderella journal. So that's what it's going to be someday used for. And then right beside it was this fabric. And I thought, well, that goes good with the Cinderella fabric. So I'll put that aside with the Cinderella fabric and see what I can do with that. After I get all the tape and the ties and the staples off of this, this is ridiculous. They really do overdo this. <laughs> Kind of a um, wish upon a star type of fabric and I don't know uh, it doesn't have a salvage I don't know if this is um, also licensed Disney or not but I thought it went very well with the Cinderella fabric so I have those two for a future journal went to one place that had a bunch of glitter glue, um, embossing powder, and very, very, very fine glitter for like 20 cents each thing. And I, I bought a bunch of them. I've already put the embossing powder and other stuff away because I sorted through it and I gave some of it, some of it to one of my friends who is just starting She's just getting into card making and she's just learning to do the embossing. So I gave her the embossing powders and stuff because it stuff that I already had, but it was so cheap that I had to get it. And I kept this one glitter glue because this is great on Christmas cards. And I think that I am about out of this, this nice white cleary color. Do they have a color on it? I don't see a color name but anyway this is good for Christmas cards so I kept this one and everything else I gave to my friend but it was like I couldn't believe the prices they had on them I was like oh yes and I just I grabbed them um, this was cute a little bit different I'm trying to just pick up different trims I thought that was really pretty I like those colors this one um, I've had similar to this one before and I really like it. It's small and it's scalloped and it's vintage looking and it's, um, something that I use a lot of. And you know, this is, it's three and a third yards for 60 cents. That's, those are really good prices. Now, not always, they don't always have real good prices on this stuff, but Sometimes I get really lucky and they do. See, like this is two yards for 45 cents. I don't need any more than two yards because, you know, by the time I use up two yards, I'm sick of looking at it and I move on to something else. So it's got kind of a yellowish um, 
threads in it. It's really pretty. And this was different. I really like the colors in this. It's just a braided trim. For 50 cents. Um, I picked up these little pieces of fabric. These were 50 cents each for my possible horse journal. I don't know why I want to make a horse journal. I'm not into horses. <laughs> but it just seems to be a theme that around here, I mean, there's, this is horse country. So, um, around here, I think if I were to try to sell these locally, that I would find people who would like the horse theme. So that was my my initial thought in wanting to do a horse journal. Um, but we haven't been out doing our selling because it's too hot. It's too hot to sit out in the sun trying to sell stuff. So we'll wait until it gets cool in the winter and we'll do it then. And, and maybe by then I can have some journals actually made. So this one's pretty with the barn in the background. The buggy. And they were selling these airmail envelopes. I don't I don't know if they're very old. They were sold by Woolworths and it does have a barcode on it, but I just thought they were kind of cool. I don't have um they wrote right through the dot on the <laughs> there's a there's a a little hole in the bag a little dot and they wrote right through it onto the envelope that's okay um anyway i just thought that these were kind of cool and vintage looking they might be fun just to put in a journal they had this little toggler thing i thought that would be a fun closure on a journal this stamp yesterday I have no idea why I bought it or what I'm going to do with it um, it has a price tag on it but I don't think it was the store's price tag well it might have been but she only charged me a dollar for it so okay but it's it's new it's very intricately detailed and it's a panther I just thought it was cool I don't know. I'll have to play with it someday. You know what's going to happen to it? It's going to get put in with my stamps. And that's where it's going to stay. <laughs> it's a collection, I guess you would call it. All right. What have I got here? I don't even know what's in some of these bags. Um, some of the the thrift stores have these racks with greeting cards on them. And you know, they're always all messed up. Envelopes don't match the cards and blah, blah, blah. And they sell them for like 10 cents each or whatever. And I always check them because I have found vintage things, vintage cards in those racks before. And sometimes they have postcards in there. So I always check them. This one had these um, fold a note things. It says, it's not who you are or where you've been, it's where you're going that counts. That's nice. Um, these are also fun to stick into pockets and stuff. So I grabbed these. I don't even know if she charged me for them. I, she may not have. I don't know. I had to get a thesaurus because the other day I was making... Let me see if I can find them. They're right here. Where did I put them? Oh, here they are. I was making these strips with words. I did some on paper and I did some on fabric. I have, I used alphabet stamps. So I was making up my own words. Well, I'll tell you, I had the hardest time trying to come up with words <laughs> that I would use. So I was flipping through a dictionary, but... I still couldn't find any words in the dictionary. So I thought, okay, let me go grab my thesaurus and I'll, you know, I'll look up a word in the thesaurus and it'll give me all these other words. 
Do you know I couldn't find a thesaurus in my house? I swear to God that I had one. And I couldn't find it. Maybe when we moved and we were purging, I got rid of it. I don't know. Um, but I couldn't find one. So I said, okay, next thrift store, I got to get pick up a thesaurus. So I picked up this one and it's, it's pretty new in good condition. And I'm not going to cut it up. I will put it with my own personal dictionary and use it when I need words. Because, I mean, if you don't, you got to have a thesaurus. If you do any kind of writing or anything... Um, so I don't know, I have no idea what happened to my thesaurus. I know I had one. I mean, I took six million writing classes in college. I had to have had a thesaurus. Um, I grabbed this because I thought that some of these images in here were really pretty. And I could just use them as background either in my glue book or on a tag or look at that that's so pretty I love the colors I like brighter colors I like the vintage look too but I also like bright colors so I just I don't know I flipped through it and saw these colors and just thought yeah these these would make really cool backgrounds or collage pieces or anything Oh, what was that? Was that a panther? Oh, look at the cat. Oh, he's so cute. I got to use that one. It was this, I guess I saw. It wasn't a panther. <laughs> My cat thinks she's a panther. So it could be a panther. Maybe it identifies as a panther. <laughs> um, and I'm going to put this book with my wallpaper book. Okay, moving on. I have a couple more things left here. I keep saying I'm not going to pick up any more books, but then I find a book that I like and I have to pick it up. This is a journal. Look at the clasp on this. Isn't that gorgeous? That is so pretty. And I got it because the paper inside is blue with this pretty, pretty butterflies on it. Oh, and a rose on the, the other corner. Isn't that pretty? And it's sewn in. You know what that means. That means I can cut this and I have a signature page. I'll show you just in case you haven't done this. If you find a book that is has sewn in signatures just like what we what we do, you just snip those that stitching. And you have paper to go in as a signature. Isn't that awesome? That's awesome. So this is really, really pretty paper. And sometimes what they do, I don't know if this one is made like that. I'll have to get into it deeper. But sometimes what they do is the first page of the signature is glued to the, to the next signature page. So those aren't going to work like this. But that's okay because those are the pages that you can tear out the single page. Just use the paper or just use the image or something like that. So this book has many uses. I'll have signature paper out of it. I'll have journaling paper, images, and the journal itself will make a really pretty journal when I'm done. Look at that. That's so pretty. So that was that was a fun find. I think they had just gotten that in. The uh, cashier said something about it. And I picked this up not necessarily to cut up. I, I like children's poetry. Um, my mother used to read poetry to me when I was a kid. And it's just something that I always liked. And I have the Shel Silverstein books and I love Robert Louis Stevenson. So I just picked this up because it's got kids poetry in it. And I thought maybe, maybe I could read some of it to my grandkids and maybe they will, um, one of them might take up an appreciation for poetry. I don't know. Um, I keep trying. None of them like to read. It makes me so sad. Um, but this is just, this is for me to keep. Um, 
evidently Landon didn't treasure it because <laughs> it ended up in the thrift store. But yeah, I like it and I I will treasure it. I'm, I think I'm going to do something with Landon's, with the inscription to Landon though. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. But I just like the book. And lastly, oh, lastly is not thrift store. We have, we are, I am so fortunate to have a scrapbook store in my, not in my town, but in nearby. We don't have town. I mean, there's towns, but they're not incorporated towns. It's all county. There's like two towns, I think, that are incorporated. And the rest of it is just county, but everybody refers to different areas as different towns. And you don't know where one town starts and stops. So I have a hard time with that in referring to a certain place as a, as a particular town because there are no town limits. There's no, they're not incorporated. There's no real towns. They're just like areas. But anyway, <laughs> I'm going off on a tangent there. Um, we have a scrapbook store, which are, you know, they're very few out there anymore. And this woman just is doing it because she enjoys it and it, it, because it's fun. And I hope that she's able to stay there for a while. So this was actually the first time I, that I had been to the store. Me and my friend, we had kept saying we were going to go and we were going to go. And we never did. And we never did. Finally, one day we said, let's go. So we did. So I just picked up a few things because, you know, I have to save things for the next trip. She's got gorgeous stamps there. She does um, card making classes and stuff. And she has some gorgeous stamps. And I just absolutely love these stamps. I, d I don't know why, but they're just, they're by Prima Marketing and they're Finnabar. Um, but look at them. They're, I just, I love them. You got the postage things, you got this vintage thing. These images are really beautiful. There's, the, I, I just really loved them. Now I just have to figure out how I want to use them. And then I picked up a couple of Distress inks. This is the new, not the newest, because they now have come out with a with a blue. But this is one of the newer colors that I wanted. It's salvaged patina. And then um, they didn't have it in the little one, or I would have got the little one, because these are good enough. I don't I don't need the big ones. Um, and then I got a shaded lilac because I don't think that I have any ink this color. I have it in this thing here that I bought. Do I? It's a lavender. It's a little deeper color. Yeah, see? It's not the same color. But these are like pretty dried up. I have to keep wetting them to get them to work. But So anyway, I bought these inks. And then they have a lot of Graphic 45 paper, which I love, love, love Graphic 45. So I picked a few up. Just a couple because you know these this paper when you buy it like this is expensive. I think these are dollar twenty five a sheet, which that's a lot of money for a piece of paper. But I want to support the store, you know. I want to I want to support the local scrapbook store because I do like having it there. I prefer to go in person to buy things than to buy things online because I can see them and I can hold them and I can really decide if I that's what I want or not. And there's a lot of choices. So anyway, so I bought a few. Um, there's this bird one. This is from the Bird Watcher collection. And that's the one side and it's got this pretty stripe on the other side. This is from the same Bird Watcher collection and it's binoculars, which is really kind of cool. And these pretty cards on the back. I probably should have bought two of these so that I could use both sides. And then this is also the Bird Watcher collection. I thought that was a pretty print. And it has these stamps on the other side. And then I just picked up some green paper because I was putting together scrapbook pages and I needed green and I was out of greens. Can you believe that? Not completely out, but I needed 
two sheets of a particular shade of green and I either only had one sheet or um, I didn't have the right shade so I just picked up a couple of sheets of green so that I would have them on hand and that is it that's that's my haul for today I hope you enjoyed it please subscribe like hit that notification button do all that good stuff thank you so 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 much for um watching and subscribing i really appreciate it i have hit that thousand subscriber mark and and woohoo we're gonna continue working on that journal and and get it up as a giveaway as soon as it's done um and maybe you'll see some of this stuff in that journal thanks for watching and see you next time bye